If you want cheap Microsoft points and game codes, check out g2a.com. Links in the description below. Hey guys, it's Marvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you my first expensive squad builder on FIFA 15. It's going to be around about a million coins, so I know a lot of people can't afford this, but there are that select few, probably around 20% that can. So yeah, and the rest of you, hopefully you just enjoy the look of this team, and maybe later on in FIFA when it's a little bit cheaper, you'll be able to try it out. So yeah, in there we've got Salvatore Sirigu, he costs about 11,000, some great stats all round and he still kept his 84 rating, I think that's for the third year in a row, if I'm right. The two centre-backs are going to be the two highest rated centre-backs on the game, or normal cards, excluding legends. Sergio Ramos, who costs about 106,000, well he cost me that, I think he goes for around 110 at the minute, and yeah. Really, really great pace, great defense, great physical. Obviously, you know, he's known for being a beast. His work rates aren't too bad either. Um, I know it's high medium, but on this game, defenders push up anyway. So, in my opinion, it doesn't really affect them too much. Uh, and Thiago Silva is the other one. He only costs about 63,000, mainly because the League One is pretty poor this year. 90 defense being his outstanding start. Obviously, he's got great pace as well and good physical. And also medium high attack and defensive work rate so these two as a partnership kind of works because Sergio Ramos is slightly further ahead than Thiago Silva who just stay back a little bit and they are very very similar and I think they're both six foot so yeah we'll move on to the left back it's going to be Marcelo he's about 25k because he's the highest rated left back in La Liga and yeah decent pace decent defense and decent physical for a left back there not too much to say about him then right back we've got Aurea now he's there for chemistry but I'm glad he's there because He's a bit like Carvajal in La Liga, he's got good, decent pace and decent physical at 82, very very strong, he's got high high work rate so his fitness does be, it does become a little bit of an issue but he does get forward and get back which is fantastic in this team. The CDM is going to be, uh, it's going to be Kadira who is relatively cheap, 4000, he'll be like nothing by the end of this game, like 800 coins. Great defence and great physical, really really does suit that centre defensive role considering he's got medium high attack and defensive work rates and he's 6 for 2, solid centre mid there. Then the two centre mids are going to be, sorry solid centre defensive mid, but the two centre mids are going to be Tony Cruz uh, who costs 13,500. Great stats to be honest, especially for a centre mid, I mean his defence isn't too bad, but he's got 5 star weak for 84 dribbling, 81 shooting and 89 passing, making this guy a really really solid centre mid. Then the next one is the beast that is, Yaya Ture, I will have a player review out on him soon, 208,000, wow, and there's no surprise that he's that much with stats like that all round, obviously 90 physical being his main stat, and yet he just is an absolute tank. And has been for a number of years on FIFA. The cam is going to be someone I've used a hell of a lot. And that is going to be Manchester United's very own number 7, Angel Di Maria. 90 pace, 83 passing, 79 shooting and 87 dribbling. Coupled with 4 star skills, make this guy a fantastic cam. And then the two strikers to finish this beastie million coin team off are going to be Sergio Aguero and Radamel Falcao. Now... I've used Falcao before and I really, really did enjoy him. Obviously, he's Manchester United's number 9, which is fantastic for me, being a Manchester United fan. But anyway, 81 dribbling, 86 shooting, 4-star skills and 4-star weak foot. He costs about 82,000. Honestly, this guy is really, really solid. And when coupled with someone pacey, it's a deadly uh, duo, to be honest. And you've got Aguero for 257,000. Wow! Most expensive player on this team. And it's not hard to see why, 88 pace, 88 dribbling and 86 shooting should be an absolute monster on this game. I will have a player review on this guy. Who do you want first, Aguero or Yaya Toure? Let me know and I'll see what I can do. I will be doing both though, high, low attack and defensive work rate. So you should get forward a hell of a lot, 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot as well. So yeah, this team looks ridiculous. I'll tell you if it is in the highlights. Honestly, this team is so good. It is so well-rounded. Everyone in this team is absolutely fantastic. It works as a unit and it's worth its price tag at a million coins. Really, really did enjoy this team. Everywhere is solid. Salvatore Sirigu seems a vast improvement on FIFA 14. Even with the temperamental goalkeepers on this FIFA, he does seem very, very good. Saves some great shots and is honestly a rock in the net. And then you've got Sergio Ramos and Thiago Silva. You know... The upgrades that both have had, I think uh, Thiago Silva had like 80-something defending last FIFA, but now he's got 90. And obviously, 
Sergio Ramos was 86 rated. It just works. They they are so good. They've got the pace to get back. And they're very, very strong physically. And then Aurea and Marcelo are similar players. Aurea seems a little stronger and Marcelo maybe a little quicker. But they do work as fullbacks. They push up a little bit. But they've got the pace to come back and actually help out in the defence when needed. Gadira sits back all the time. He's always... In there, he's always winning the headers when the goalkeeper of the opposing team kicks the ball forward. He's always there to win the header uh, and get turn defence into attack, really. Tony Cruz, very, very solid, great passer of the ball and got a lethal shot. And then you've got Yaya Toure, who is just an all-round beast. Pass, shoot, movement, everything. He's just unbelievable. Really, really good centre mid. Then you've got Angel Di Maria, who I've done a player review. I've said many things about absolutely fantastic great number 10 to have in that role in that cam role he's perfect and then Falco and Sergio Aguero are a perfect partnership you've got the pace the dribbling the skills the strength the heading you've got everything in those two the four star skills and four star weak foot they're just a perfect partnership it really really does work because when you send the ball forward from Cruz Toure or Di Maria you've got either the pace of Aguero latching onto it or the strength and shooting of Falco really really good Hybrid, I would really recommend you build this if and when you get the coins to do so. So yeah, let me know which player of you you do want next. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Let me know what squad builder budget you want to see next. And yeah, peace.